So last time we built the routing aspect of our PHP MVC application in the app class. And we demonstrated that it worked by building a, a very basic uh, home controller. And now it's time to expand on how to build controllers properly. Uh, and the first step is to build a controller base class. So all controllers, the idea is that there are core functionalities to controllers, which all controllers need in order to act properly. And these functionalities are there to invoke model classes so that we can access data from our data sources and also to call views. So none of these features are currently implemented in our program. So let's add this feature in. So the idea is going to be to add a file to the core uh, folder. And this file is going to be uh, the controller.php base class. So the controller base class. So basically class controller. And there's going to be two functions that we need to build here. Uh, the public uh, function model to invoke models to access storage and the public function view to be able to invoke a view and output data. So first of all, let's uh, start with the model. The idea here is to be able to get a model uh, from our set of models. Our models are going to be under the app folder. We're going to make a new folder and they are all going to be stored in the model subfolder. So what we want to do is we want to check whether the model exists or not. As previously done, if file exists, this was done in the routing aspect. We check if the file exists, app slash models slash, and let's concatenate that with the model name that's coming in through the parameter. And we are gonna add also dot PHP. So let's not confuse the dot here in the string for, and the dot here outside of the string. The dot outside of the, the string is a concatenation operator in PHP. So it would have been simpler to actually use double quotation marks and just put the dollar model in line. But you know, for now, this is going to do. Um, so if it does exist, the goal is going to be to actually require the file. So let's just take this whole so we're requiring the file and we want to return a new item of type model. Well, else I, I really always like to uh, properly return something. So if we don't have such a class, I will just return null. Okay, so if the file exists, we include the file from the models folder and we return a new object of this class. So we instantiate the object. Great. Now, how about the view? The view, the idea is to include the files. So what we can do is we can use the same pattern as above. We're not going to return anything but we can certainly echo an error message if it doesn't work out. All right, we'll detail that error message a bit later. Um, so if now all the views are gonna be stored under the app folder, the views subfolder. So I'm gonna add a folder here, new folder, views, great. So this is where we want to fetch our views using a sublime, it's possible to make multiple uh, edits at the same time. Little tip here. 
All right, and now what I want, I want to have a name for my, my goodness, a name for my view, which I will use here and here, right? So the idea is basically if the name, if the view does exist, I will basically include it. I will not require it once, I will include it. Else, I will output an error. error. Now, a part of this is missing. We actually have to pass data to the view. And by default, we'll set that data to be an empty array. So basically, this uh, method can be invoked with or without data because there is a default value for data here. Great. So that means that inside the view here, when it is included, we will have data accessible to it and the name of the variable will be data. So data will be will contain data in this view. Great. Uh, I'll just basically output here that um, error. The view name does not exist. Okay, just some feedback for the programmer. It's essential. Great. So let's save this. And now, um, well, we don't have any models yet, but let's use the home controller here and actually build a view and call the view. Okay, so the goal for today is views uh, and the controller base class. So let's start with building a view here. Um, so uh, as mentioned, the, the goal is to be able to write controllers properly. Um, so it starts with views. Let's make a new file here for the views. Actually, it should be done in a subfolder. So let's make a new uh, folder here, home for the home controller. And under home, let's make a new file and let's save it as index.php. So we have an index here. Great. So let's just make a, an HTML file, uh, HTML head title. Okay. List of items. Great. Um, let's make a body. And now uh, some HTML, so for instance, H1. An item list. And inside, now let's finally use PHP to output the data. So PHP. Okay, so the most common way of outputting data that we uh, have that is sent to views is to use a for each loop and then echo uh, the, uh, the data for each data items as item Now let's just echo, for instance, uh, li and item name. Okay, so for each item that is in the collection, data items, so that could be an array we will echo out the item name. So we're making big assumptions here. We're making the assumption that items, uh, there is data that's passed uh, inside the, the array data labeled with items. And uh, this is an array 
Um, and uh, each one of the items in this has a name attribute. So these are the big assumptions made. Um, so we can actually, in our home controller, invoke this view now because we have the controller uh, view method. Um, so let's already use that. this view let's provide a name for it the name will be home slash index which refers to the home folder under views the index.php file great and now let's add some data to this so items And this should point to a set of items. And we don't have such a set of items yet. So we will need to now build this set of items out of somewhere. So let's try imagining this model. I'd like to get items out of this. Maybe the item class. That would be what I would like to build, this model item here. Uh, that would be very practical. I want to invoke this, so items is equal to this, all right? Now I'd like to get all of them. All right, so I have no such functionality yet, but I'd like to imagine this is how I will build our model class. So, um, that would be the ideal situation. But for now, to keep things short, I will simply build a new item of type std class. And I'll make this item name be maybe John. and uh, basically place this inside the items array and pass it in our view so you know I'm faking it I don't have a model yet I'll just build this save it okay so we're almost ready we are not requiring our controller base class yet. And now, you know, this is, this is apparent that we're going to start adding more and more of these requirements. So it would be nice to actually group them all in one location. And the index.php file is not the best location. So under app, I'll make a new file and save it as init.php. This is the init.php file. And this is going to start as PHP. And I like to end all of my PHP files with a closing tag as well. I know it's not necessary. And I will copy this requirement in. And since here I'm already in the core subfolder or in the app subfolder, I don't need to add app at the beginning. And I'll require also the controller dot php class file okay and here i will change this to app init.php and save so now i'm requiring init.php from the index.php file and in, in it i have my list of all the required uh, core functionality and again the routing is going to happen. Call the home controller uh, by default index where I should have here data put inside an array and placed inside the data to pass to the view. And the view is supposed to list out the data that comes in the data items. So if all of this works, uh, then we should see an output uh, of list items. This function does not need parameters anymore. Okay, so this is what you see when there is a problem. Uh, we see that there's an undefined method home controller uh, view. 
All right, that makes full sense because one of the biggest things that we forgot to do here is actually uh, to extend the controller class for a home controller, right? So we have a controller base class and it needs to be uh, it needs to be extended, right? So we did this already, uh, extending this. Uh, oh, actually, there is no prior. There is no prior to this in our example. So extends controller. Great. Save this. There we go. We have an item list. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.